can't overdose on pot, your pastor tells you while handing you a joint. Which is true, but you can overdose on edibles. So here's a list of the five stages of overdosing on edibles. Step one, denial. You see, unlike smoking weed, eating pot has a delayed effect. And just like calling your girlfriend the wrong name while having sex, you won't feel the full effects till much later. So you'll start off eating one edible, but after ten minutes not feeling anything, you'll trick yourself, saying, uh, maybe my tolerance is too high, or, or maybe they're just regular brownies. So you'll eat another one, then another one. Each brownie says 250 milligrams, but my vitamin C tablets are 350 milligrams, so I mean, how bad could it be? That's when step two kicks in, ecstasy. For the first 15 minutes of being high, you'll be cruising. An overwhelming amount of joy will fill your body, like a dog being let off the leash, or OJ hearing not guilty. And you'll find yourself giggling at everything. Uh, well, everything except Amy Schumer, because no matter how many drugs you take, that sea cow will never be funny. This leads to step three, the shadow realm. Those feelings of bliss won't last long as a wave of despair begins to envelop you. You see, you're now maxing out on all the negative side effects of pot. Your mouth is dry, body's achy, and you're so paranoid, you don't know what's a dream and what's reality. You think, well, what if I don't escape this? What if this is my life now? What if I'm trapped in a closet on Jeffrey Epstein's island? I know you're in there. Come out so we can talk. That's when you look at your watch and realize it's only been an hour since you ate that edible. Well, maybe, maybe if I make myself throw up, I'll feel better. So you kneel down to the porcelain gods and start finger banging your throat like Ariana Grande after an appetizer. But it turns out it's not that easy to make yourself vomit. So after spending 10 minutes gagging like you just saw Lizzo in a swimsuit, you think maybe if I ate something, I'd feel better. So you grab some cookies, but then you start to get paranoid and think, well, what if these are edibles? You're not sure, so you go to ask your friends, but your friends have turned into demons. And a demon won't tell you the truth. So you think, oh, I'll just call the cops, but they're probably going to beat you because you're black. You're wearing a pink one piece of hoodie. You can't blame them for mistaking you for a violent criminal. So since you can't trust the police or your demon friends, you just take a seat on the couch and decide to wait it out. Unfortunately, now you've bonded with your couch on a molecular level. You're not sure where the couch ends and you begin. You think, am I going to be trapped like this forever? No! There's still so many titties I haven't motorboated. That's when you realize you're going to need some divine intervention. That leads to step four, bargaining. Even though you don't believe in God, you get on your knees like a thirsty altar boy praying to be saved. You're like, listen, G-Man, I know we've had our differences, but your boy could really use some help right now. I promise to never get high again. Again. Okay, maybe not never, considering Coachella's coming up soon. I promise to never take edibles again. I should be more specific. I promise to never take multiple edibles in a short time frame on a Tuesday again. Please, God, just help me through this nightmare. That's when everything turns black, and you're like, no, God has sentenced me to an endless void. But then you realize it's not actually dark, and your eyes are just closed. This leads to the final step, acceptance. You see, like a preteen twerking on TikTok, it's better just to accept what's happening and wait for it to blow over. And before you know it, your high will begin to fade away, like Jonathan Major's career. Eventually, your brain function will begin to return, and you realize all the stupid things you did while high, like getting on both knees to tie your shoe, or taking off your pants just to zip up your zipper. But none of that matters now, and you're just thankful to be alright. FBI, open up! What the f- Am I still high? Nah, bro. You're going to prison. For what? You screamed, be gone, demon, and threw boiling water in Billy's face. Ah, <sighs> sh- Mmm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.